Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about cluster aware updating, uh, see how what it is, how it works and also test it with PowerShell. First a short introduction, cluster aware update first came out in Windows Server 2012 and this feature helps you perform patches on your clusters without too much headaches because uh, cluster aware updating will basically take care of moving roles from one cluster node to another, patching that node, moving on to the next node, and so on. So basically the way it works is each node of the cluster is put in maintenance and that in turn will cause all of the resources from that node to move to another one. That node will be updated and of course this will go on and on until uh, all nodes of the cluster have been patched. Cluster aware updating has two operation modes. The first one is a self updating mode in which the update process is implemented as a cluster role. And this will be done by one of the cluster nodes that owns that role. And when that node will be updated, of course, the role will move to another node and so on. So everything in this scenario will be done by the cluster inside the cluster. The second operation mode is remote updating mode. And in this one, uh, you will have another server or a computer from which you will run the cluster aware updating tool and start your patching process from that node. So the cluster will not have anything installed, any resource installed that uh, will make it control the update process. Now let's also talk about update sources because you have to take your updates from somewhere of course. In clusterware updating the sources are implemented as plugins. So a plugin will take care of accessing that source and also process the updates from that source. And the two plugins are Windows Update plugin, which of course will have as a source either WSAS or Windows Update, depending on what you have configured on your nodes. And the second plugin is the Hotfix plugin. And uh, with this plugin, you can configure it to install, for example, BIOS upgrades or drivers. Uh, and it, by default, installs MSI, MSP and MSU files that mainly correspond to limited distribution releases of Hotfix. Before we begin, uh, I also have a couple of notes. So if you want to use cluster updating, please make sure that you do not use also another update uh, program like WSAS or SCCM because then your updates will overlap and I'm sure bad things will happen. Also on that note, if you will use clusterware updating and you will have it to configure to take updates from the WSAS server, please do not configure automatic updates because then a cluster where updating will not be in control of when the updates will take take place and you will run into problems and uh, of course i guess you were wondering if you want to use the hotfix plugin and the up, uh, the windows update plugin at the same time you can also if you want more details i put uh, a link from a microsoft page about cluster where updating if you want to use it, I encourage you to read it because it has a lot of best practices for implementing it, which I will not cover in this video. And with this, let's get to the code. So now I'm on one of uh, my servers from my infrastructure, not on one of the cluster nodes, but on another server, because I will show you how to uh, update the clusters from a third node. So from a server that is not part of the cluster. And I will also show you how to use both plugins, the Windows Update plugin and the Hotfix plugin. First, let's uh, set up uh, some uh, prerequisites for the Hotfix plugin, uh, mainly the folder in which we will place the uh, update files. So we are going to need 
a primary folder the the first one and i will name it cow or cow i don't know cow i think <laughs> and uh, this folder has to be shared so i will create a share and keep in mind i use encryption on this share because uh, if you want to use clusterware updating your share either has to be encrypted or signed and uh, on the folder you will see uh, you have to also tweak a little the security in order for uh, uh, the hotfix plugin to work okay so now under the primary folder i i will create this folder and whatever updates i put here all the cluster nodes that uh, i will run uh, uh, cluster we're updating against will find these uh, files we can also go a little deeper and create folders that have the name of a specific server and in this case only fso1b will install the updates that i will place in this folder another thing we have to do in order for the hotfix plugin to work is copy an xml file with some configurations and uh, this xml file is uh, found on any server that has the clusterware updating powershell module installed so in my case i will take it from fs01a and i will place it directly in the cow folder also done uh, now before we continue i want to also place some updates in these folders that i created so we have something to test against these are normal windows updates that i got from the microsoft update catalog so i will put one of these updates here and the other one i will put it here so we can also test that fso1b will get one extra update compared to fso1a uh, now let's move on to prerequisites for the windows update plugin and of course for this we need to have a windows update source configured in our case we have a wsas server so i will use the group policy that i created in my wsas video of this uh, series to configure the cluster nodes to point to that server so on my domain controller you see that my two cluster nodes are in the encrypt organizational unit so in uh, on this ou i will link of course the updates general gpo and of uh, again this uh, group policy has been created by us in a previous video if you do not know where this came from I will encourage you to watch that uh, vi uh, that video with uh, install and configure WSAS on Windows Server 2016. I will also leave a link in the description if you want to see it. And with that being said, uh, now we set the GPO on the OU where our cluster nodes are located. We of course need to also do a GP update so they get the new settings. let's get to the more interesting part since we are going to use a coordinator node so we are not going to install the cluster we're updating inside the cluster on this node we also have to install the rsat clustering uh, uh, feature 
because we are going to need of course the PowerShell commandlets for cluster we're updating. And once this is installed, you will see that we get a couple of commandlets with which we can uh, configure and uh, manage cluster aware updating. Now also important is the fact that we need to enable uh, some firewall rules on our cluster nodes that will permit our coordinator to restart them when needed. Because if you don't know, there are a couple of Microsoft updates that will require restarts. Let's actually begin the process. First, this command test cow setup using the cluster name will scan the two nodes and tell you if they are ready to be used with the cluster aware updating. It's normal to receive a couple of warnings, but the general result should be that it is okay if you will continue. So you see that success is true, but we also have a couple of uh, warnings or failures. For example, this is a failure, but it's not really a failure because we will not use the cow cluster draw. So that's why uh, this success is uh, true. So if you see true, you can continue. It's okay. Now I, you see here that I have some comments uh, which you can read so you don't forget to do uh, different stuff. But basically the next command that we are going to run is invoke cow scan. Uh, what this will do is it will scan uh, our update sources depending on what plugins we want and show us what updates we would install if we would actually run clusterware updating. Now let's go over the parameters first, so you understand what we are going to do. Invoke our scan with cluster name, FSO1 of course. Now we uh, get to choose what plugins we want to use, and I will use both Windows Update plugin and Hotfix plugin. And with the order that I place the plugins here, I will also place configuration items for those plugins. In the same order so first uh, will be some uh, configuration strings for the windows update part and i want is installed to be zero and is hidden to be zero for the updates that i will search for and for the hotfix plugin i want to set the hotfix uh, root folder so the share and I also want to use disable ACL checks to set it to true. Uh, you would not do this in a production environment because in a production environment you would uh, modify the security of the folder to make it less permissive. But in our case uh, we are going to leave it to default and use this parameter. But I also put here in, a, in this comment the command that you would use without disable ACL checks. I highly recommend that in a production environment you restrict the access to this folder so that only specific people can place or delete updates. Let's run the command and it might be that it will fail a couple of times. If you know WSAS you know that sometimes uh, you can have problems with nodes that have not been updated. They will need to maybe to contact the WSAS server a couple of times before they work. So I will try to run it a couple of times in case I run into problems. And we will see when it actually shows me the final results. And you see that for the hotfix plugin it already found for FS01B two updates and for FS01A only one update. So uh, I tried a couple of times but it seems I have a slight problem with my WSAS environment. So there will be a slight change of plans in this video. I'm going to be running this command but without uh, the Windows Update plugin. So I'm going to show you how to modify it to only run for the Hotfix plugin. 
basically the part with the hotfix can remain but starting from here we can delete the configuration for the uh, windows update part and of course in the plugins here we are going to leave only the hotfix plugin and in this case it should run and find the updates in the shares in a working environment it uh, would also find the wsas updates and list all of them here but i wasn't that lucky in this case so after you scan for the updates this is not mandatory but uh, i wanted to run it so you can see that you can also just scan and see what updates would apply to your nodes you you can also use invoke cow run to basically run the updating process now since we have problems with wsus i'm going to copy it and uh, remove the wsus part but basically this is the same thing like cow scan please remember that in production you should not use uh, disable acl checks so you should uh, make your folder more secure so let's delete the update the windows update part also remove the plugin from the list and now let's start the update process and let's make this window a little bigger so you see that it starts with the two nodes in waiting now on fs1b it's suspending whatever roles it has and it's uh, starting to install the updates now that it's done with node b very fast actually it will start with node a and it will suspend the node which means moving everything to the node b and then it will start installing the updates also on node a in uh, this case we were lucky that no restarts were needed but uh, uh, cluster where updating also covers restarting so if a node needs a restart it will restart it wait and then begin again you don't have to do anything you will be notified at the end when it's finished and you see that it's done it took very little only one minute and 15 seconds and with that basically this was also all for uh, clusterware updating with powershell if you enjoyed the video please like it and share it also subscribe to my channel to be notified when i put out new videos and thanks a lot for watching